one. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Mordow's been out for a year now. We've gotten three new maps, new skins, and a new weapon. But what else could be added to the game? I figured I'd make a video about things I'd like to see added, but I'm also interested in hearing from you guys. What do you think of these ideas, and what ideas do you have that could be implemented into the game? Leave your comments below. First things first, let's talk about some quality of life improvements. Mainly, folders. Ever since Ranked Duels came out, I've wanted some way to keep all of my builds separate. I'm at over 20 custom loadouts, and I need some way to separate them all. Whether you want to separate your dual builds from your frontline builds, or you just want separate folders for your ranged and melee loadouts, I think everyone could find a way to make use of folders. Okay, so everyone has talked to death about how they hate horses, including me. So why not rework the ways our weapons interact with them? Imagine this. You're out on the battlefield. In comes a charging cavalier. There's nowhere you can run. So you swing your blade with all your might. And you cut the horse's legs out from under them, sending the rider flying off. Or you can channel your inner Gregor Clegane and just cut the horse's fucking head off. If I'm being honest, horse legs should probably be more vulnerable in this game. Sorry, Thunder. I gotta put you down. Speaking of breaking things, what about weapon durability? What if while you're using a quarterstaff to block an axe, it breaks? Maybe you'd be able to sacrifice your bow to block an incoming strike so that you can have time to pull out your cleaver. What if you block an overhand strike with the half of your axe, and it gets cut in half? Maybe it leaves you with a hand axe? Or maybe the sword just cuts through into your face? Could make for some interesting fights. Another thing I'd like to see is more voice options. At this point, everyone's heard the voice lines. And I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of hearing the same foppish voice over and over and over. Maybe we can mix things up by adding in regional dialects. Like the French. I chart in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberry. Now go away or I shall taunt you a second time. The Spanish. Honor the dauntless knight known as Don Quixote de la Mancha. Miranda! What about the Germanic tribes? The Celts. The Vikings. And we can't forget the Italians. While we're customizing our characters, why don't we talk about beards and hair? Why don't we have sliders for them? Shout out to Molra for these great shots of what beards could look like in this game if the mustache just covered the lip a little more. I think beard and hair sliders would allow even more customization, and I think it'd be kind of cool to see what kind of builds come out of it. Alright, moving on from character creation, let's talk about map changes. I've been playing Escape from Tarkov, and it got me thinking about randomized weather. Imagine fighting in heavy rain, out in the snow, in dense fog. We could even have different times of day. In the early morning, the evening, and in the dark of the night. 
What about other changes, like adding in RNG effects, like the trebuchets on camp? How crazy would it be to hear the whistle of a massive volley of arrows? When we attack today, our arrows will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. The Lord help me, he can get me out of this mess. I was pretty sure you're fucked. <laughs> Triterion has done a good job at adding in some amazing legendary skins. The problem? I can't afford them all. So what if we had something like an unlock system? Something that would allow players to earn customization options for their favorite weapons by completing challenges. Could be something as easy as getting kills with a specific weapon, using that weapon in its alt mode, chopping down barricades, or just decapitating multiple enemies in a single game. I think it could be a good way of teaching new players the ins and outs of different weapons, but you could still keep the gold price. So that way if you want to purchase new customization options, you can, or you can play with the weapon for a few games and unlock some new things. Okay, that's enough gameplay additions. Let's talk about weapons and equipment. So one day I'm eating the noble's food on Fatoria, and it got me thinking, where does it come from? What if we had fruit trees dispersed across the map? Occasionally you could pluck yourself a quick snack. Or you could just grab a crab apple and chuck it at someone's face. Who's your friend? Another thing I've been seeing people ask for are gladiator weapons. Secutor? We trying to spell executive? Uh, Secutor is a kind of gladiator. They get the coolest helmets, and they get to beat up on those Gaylord gladiators with the nets and the tridents. Reciarius, my favorite gladiator. Gaylord, out. You know, there's one ancient weapon that I'd love to see added into this game: the sling. I mean, we've already got rocks. Let's put the rocks inside the sling and hurl it at motherfuckers. The Bards of Mordau are doing a great job at keeping us all inspired out on the battlefield. And it got me thinking, this game would be so much better with more instruments. Then we could have a band playing us onto the field. Things like horns, trumpets, drums, the hurdy-gurdy, bagpipes, Even coconuts. Whoa, All right, enough beating around the bush. Let's talk about the one thing Mordau's been missing since launch. We've got the Raider voice, which is clearly a roided out Scrooge McDuck. And any jack and apes who thinks else should be boiled in his own pudding. And we've got the Count Dankula beard option. Now give me a kilt! I don't know why we haven't gotten them sooner. You can even give them their own emotes to flip up your kilt and waggle your cock and balls at the enemy. Or turn around and show them your pale ass. But uh, don't get too cheeky in front of the archers. You know, if we had in kilts, we're gonna need something else to go along with it. Face paint! Hell, even give me the option to put dirt on my face too, like I could in Skyrim. I think new weapons in general would make a lot of players happy. Even if they're reskins or slight changes of other weapons, things like scimitars and cutlasses there's a lot of people out there who'd be really interested in seeing pirate stuff. And I mean, you did tease that boat. So, where are we going? I say we go to the east, to the Holy Land. It calls to me, brothers. Deus Vault! As much as I hate to say it, we could give engineers a few tweaks too. I mean, they are pretty non-threatening when they don't have a heavy hand axe or a mini ballista pointed your way. 
Most of the time they have their toolbox out. So what if the toolbox had more options, like using it to block a little? Or using it to bash someone over the head? Speaking of bashing people in the head, shields have been reworked and changed a few times. But so far, I haven't seen anything talking about shield bashing. Shields can do a lot of damage if you know how to use them. Alright, well that's about as many ideas as I can pack into one video. This was pretty fun to put together, a lot different than what I'm used to. I thought I could get away with using in-game clips, but uh... Go figure, these things don't exist in games, so you can't really get footage of them. I hope you guys found this entertaining, and if you guys have any ideas or things you want to add to the game, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll check them, and if I see enough ideas down there that I like, I mean, we could probably put another one of these videos together. So thanks for watching, guys, and stick around, because Two-Handed Sword Stereotypes is coming soon. Hope you guys have a great day. Later.